<clears throat> Hi, my name is Anton. I have been sitting and writing a little article about one-shot learning and suddenly materialized the segment anything algorithm. And I was like, oh man, I gonna have to rewrite a sort of the article because of this. But let's take a closer look at this algorithm and why it's cool. And where it stopped working, because only in this video someone will show you limits of the algorithm and the points when you could use it and where you better switch on another algorithm. So let's go. Uh, here it's how it look like uh, and a uh, short overview. Uh, there were dozens of algorithms that can select object but one or two or three points uh, and uh, they are usually used to simplify the labeling. For example this one from Samsung Lab. As you can see you can put points and everything will be labeled and uh, a lot of modern labeling tools uh, has them. For example, Supervisely has them. I think V7 has them and so a lot of different tools. Uh, but uh, Segment Anything had, has a lot of progress and a lot of differences from this algorithm. Uh, the first main point it's a uh, segment anything uh, has the training data sets is about uh, 11 million images here uh, and like 1.1 billion masks it's much more than any previous algorithm and it's super important when you train such big algorithm uh, the second important point uh, it has different modalities, like uh, it could use points as input, boxes or text prompt. But the part with text prompt doesn't release yet. Uh, and the third super important point, it's multi-layer algorithm. Let me explain. Uh, that's me right there. And if we, if I will select myself, something like this, I could split this selection on different masks. For example, here is uh, my skin and here is uh, like the original image. Uh, sometimes you can even select for the face, it will be like sometimes just more mask like uh, not even not only skin but uh, the face the skin and I couldn't get it right now so uh, and it's pretty important because usually uh, such select algorithm use only one layers but as you can understand uh, there are a lot of different objects it's not just human, uh, it's also like some clothes, closet, it's like glasses, it's uh, headset, it's hair and a lot of different uh, objects human consist of. Uh, and uh, the best approach is to not select the biggest one, but select some small object of the person. Okay. Uh, it's the difference. Let's look uh, on some samples where these algorithms work really great. And uh, the one of such samples is some goods on the shelves. Uh, I usually, I worked with a lot of different uh, algorithms. Uh, about this task during my life and uh, it's very hard task and very complicated uh, but uh, 
let's take a look uh, how this algorithm will segment objects out of the box. And as you can see, it's almost perfect. Yes, there are some problems, for example, like this object split as two segment layer, but uh, as we can, as we could check, it will be one layer will consist from both uh, parts. Of course, there are some, it's not like ready algorithms to label objects on the shelves, but uh, with this algorithm, you could spend very small amount of time to label your real data set. You just need to select correct uh, contour for your task and uh, it will be super fast to uh, label the goods on for this specific task. Uh, but as I mentioned, some of the goods will be like a few layers. For example, uh, here it's even different two layers some of goods will be like here like splitted by different layers but uh, yes it's just two different layers uh, but you would select what you want and it will work uh, the second super cool uh, example is here uh, usually pre-trained algorithm uh, don't like strange camera angles and uh, in my next article so, so subscribe on my LinkedIn or telegram channel uh, I will show this image as example where different a lot of pre-trained algorithms stop working so a lot of pre-trained algorithms they could uh, detect like one or two person or even none of them, but if we check how much person uh, will be selected as uh, contour there, so one, uh, this one, two, uh, this one, it's three, uh, this one, four, uh, and uh, here uh, there will be two groups of persons, and uh, this one will be selected as a few different uh, counter. counter. Uh, so at least four person will be selected excellent and a uh, few of them will split on two different parts. Let's look at this. Mm, but it will also split on few different con additional counters, but uh, it's not excellent but it's work better than a lot of pre-trained algorithms. And, but you could already see the boundaries of uh, segment anything. So what is this? It's just the floor, but it's want to segment this floor parts. Why? Uh, different texture, but it's not the different object. And uh, if we will go in the direction of Mm, the bad images, uh, it will affect us more and more. For example, this more unregular image that, than previous. And it's work pretty good, actually. For example, uh, here is the hat. And it's super cool because uh, you could just label the data for new task like with one click. Uh, but uh, if you will try to label something in the in this bus, uh, a lot of stuff it's not it's even not the objects. And of course it will break uh, on some heads in the in this part of the bus. So. Uh, Let's move in the direction of worse images. Mm, for example, here. Uh, this specific image is like uh, the bird feeding box that I was uh, using five years ago to train my uh, Raspberry Pi 
and to send me images with uh, the birds the, when they are calm. And as you can see, it couldn't detect this bird. It couldn't even uh, recognize this uh, as some mask uh, and uh, it could hardly see the border. And uh, it's pretty hard for this segment anything to describe any objects there because it's split in some absolutely random pattern. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, here it's pretty regular image uh, from a regular task to uh, recognize the pizza and some topping on it. And it's from like from real camera. It's not the worst images that I saw, uh, but uh, segment anything couldn't see like half of the top toppings. Yes, it's definitely could see some of them, it could uh, speed up your labeling process, but it's not great. Of course, if the pizza is excellent, it will be, it will work, but uh, not, not perfect, because it's completely new domain for this uh, algorithm. So uh, here, for example, uh, it will split some of the ham uh, in the half and uh, like, for example, this one and uh, split and combine some different in one object. But here it's work pretty well. But here is the limitation. When your data become worse, the algorithm uh, start working worse. But actually it's work much better than any pre-trained neural network that I saw before. Uh, like it could detect almost any car there. Yes, you need, it's, it's just for labeling purposes. You need to select what do you mean like car, uh, which element of this car it should include, but it, for example, it will be car uh, usually, and you don't need, it's split in different cars there. Yes, it don't work with this super small object, but it's super stable and super cool, in my opinion. Uh, so, okay. Uh, small summary. If you need uh, your labeling service, here it is, just spend a few days uh, and compose your new labeling uh, service. But I hope that uh, CVAT or something like this will include it just in a few months. Uh, it will not solve your detection task, uh, but in some case it will help, help uh, you to prototype some quick sample, uh, for example, quick detection or something like this, because it definitely could work with objects that it's never saw before. Uh, probably, the third point, probably this multi-layer approach will provide a new base for uh, some modern algorithms. Uh, fourth point, uh, segment anything is pretty slow. Not the slowest algorithm that I saw, but it's not definitely the edge algorithm or not the algorithm for video recognition. And there are still a lot of corner cases for specific domain. But if you don't use this algorithm as detector, it's okay. So thank you for watching the new great algorithm, uh, but with some limitation, of course. Thank you. Bye.